knocking on doors, pounding the pavement. Well, with the Iowa GOP. All of our supporters, all of our Democrats to vote. In Iowa, the urgency is palpable. It went for President Obama twice. Now it's a dead heat and Republicans are working to turn Iowa red. We are ready for change and Mr. Trump brings that change. Eric Branstad, the son of Iowa's longtime GOP governor, runs Trump's operation here and says his appeal reaches beyond the GOP base. I have gone to Republican rallies my entire life. We are seeing new voters like we've like we've never seen before. Application for an absentee ballot right here. Early voting has been underway for over a month. Democrats usually win the early vote. This year, Iowa GOP officials are trying to better compete. Talk about the enthusiasm. It, it's, it's at an all-time high. So far, Republicans are doing better than in 2012, but still lagging with 33.9 percent of the early vote compared to 43.2 percent from Democrats. To push the early vote, both candidates recently came to Cedar Rapids, Iowa, just hours apart. She is the candidate of yesterday. We have come too far to let Donald Trump take us back. The challenge for Democrats, Iowa was never Clinton country. Her stunning 2008 Democratic caucus loss was the beginning of the end for that campaign, and her 2016 win against Bernie Sanders was a struggle. Iowa Democrats argue their voters are fired up, especially against Trump, and they insist their get-out-the-vote operation is superior. It is a toss-up state, and it's going to come down to that organization, and I think that's what's going to get us the win.